Hi everyone, welcome back to Code Step by Step. My name is Anil. This is the 13th part for Vue.js project and uh, in this video, we will uh, add uh, new pages for add restaurant and update restaurant. So for that, what we need to do, first of all, we have to make two more components. After that, we will uh, add the routes and links for these two components. And at the last, we will learn how we can show a logged in username. So for a moment, now you can see that we are just putting here, hello user, welcome to home page. After the showing the username, we will just get to know that, hello Peter, welcome to the home page. We will get a uh, text like this. So now let's start with the first point and create two more components for add and update restaurant. So here you can see that we already have the home page. To save the time, we can copy and paste this page. So let's make two more copies of home page and now we can change the text inside it. So let's change the file name first of all, which, which can be add.view. Add simply means add restaurant. So I can also mention uh, and rename the file like add restaurant, but that, that will be a lengthy name and might be uh, there is a spelling mistake or something. So small file name is always better and we will just put here add view. That simply means add restaurant. So let's change the uh, component name and simply put here add restaurant page. Welcome to the add restaurant page. And with the same way, let's create a one more component for update and simply put here update.view and let's welcome on update. The restaurant page that's fine and let's update this component name also which which can be update after making the component we can add the routes for these uh, two component and let's click on the routes we already have three routes here you can see that for home sign up and login we created uh, in previous videos so now let's uh, import the both file for add and update restaurant and then we will create a route for them and let's put here update great so again uh, to make it very quick we can simply copy our previous route because in last videos we already created this thing manually uh, so we can copy and paste them so that we can just complete this video quickly and just add here our new route name is add and what component will be load here obviously add restaurant will component will be loaded here and path can be add with a small a and let's do the same thing with the update restaurant also so the route name will be update component will be again update and these component are just imported from here right and at the last let's provide the update path also great now still you will find that these routes are not working because we did not define their links till now but whenever you will just simply call here add uh, restaurant then you can see that we have a welcome to add restaurant page because we just put here directly route here because routes are ready just links are not ready and now define the links here so now where we have to define this links in a header because header is our common file for links and let's simply put here route link and copy it and just re replace your uh, anchor tag with the this route link same with the home page also and we don't need to change this anchor tag of logged out because there we are not going to show any page we are just showing any showing a, a click event here so it can be remain same and other will be changed and now let's change href to 2 and this is props where we can add our route and uh, let's do and just update hash with the update now you will find that our routes will still working uh, okay so i just need to refresh it once i think yeah now you can see that update add and home everything is working fine and logout is also working fine so if I just logged in someone else, let's say anil at the rate test.com and the password is anil at the rate one, two, three. This is still working fine. 
great all right so now let's on a home page let's replace this user with the actual username so let's go to the home page and let's take a data property data is basically a function let's put a comma at the last and now let's return a property and inside it let's take a property name with the name and by default it will be blank but whenever our, our component will be mounted we can fetch the information from user because user we are already fetching here so just put here this dot name will be json dot parse and our user dot name and now let's replace your username with a double curly braces and name property and now you can see that this is working fine right so let's try with any other user so let me try with the peter peter at the rate test.com and peter at the rate one two three and now you can see that hello peter is here so that's all for this video we got that how we can create two more components routes and links and how we can change the uh, username actual username with the uh, static user string so thank you and please don't forget to subscribe my channel and in next video we will show our restaurant list here in a home page right so thank you so much bye bye take care